Hello everyone, it is Susan here and welcome to my channel. So today we're gonna finish off this little journal that I have. I made it with Dina Wakely in a class with her back in 2019. And I just have a few pages at the end to finish off. And I, this is uh, on every page is um, some sort of scripture. And I had some verses printed out already in my stash, so it was really, really nice to be able to use um, in what I already had printed. So yeah, I was super happy about that. So all of the verses that you see me gluing down, I already had. So that's like a win-win, right? Like to use up that stuff. And I was just searching through that little bin of mine to, you know, find something to put on the pages. So the backgrounds on every page, I am, we did during the Dina Wakely class. And then we made this book together with her. So yeah, yeah. And I'm just taking a Faber-Castell pit pen and you can like smudge them a little bit when they're still wet, of course. And that's just what I'm doing here, just to give, you know, that uh, that psalm a little bit of a pop there on the page. And on every page, I put this stamp. I even went back and did it from the beginning of the journal. And I'm not going to have you watch me do this for every page that, you know, I'm working on in this video. Um, yeah, I'll just kind of, you know, you know, just kind of fly through it. I just wanted to show you the one time um, how I'm doing that border. And that stamp, that border stamp is a Dilusions stamp um, by Dina. Uh, by Diane Reevely. So that was the stamp that I was using. And yeah, so now we're gonna go on to the next page. So all of these little pieces that you see me putting onto the pages, you know, are just stuff that, I have like a little pile of stuff on my desk. Well, I have a few piles <laughs> of stuff on my desk, but um, I was pulling actually probably from two different little you know, piles of, of just like painty papers and die cuts and book pages, you know, all that fun stuff that we'd like to play with. Um, so I'm only adding like maybe, I don't know, maybe three things to a page because I still wanted to see the background since you know I did those with with in her in Dina Wakely's class so yeah so I just wanted I didn't want to cover it right and I'm trying to finish this journal so I did not want to spend a lot of time on you know adding stuff to it so yeah this worked out quite well now this these two pieces that i'm going to put on this page are actually very old they're watercolor and then i drew flowers then i realized right there that the that the text was upside down and not that that you know should really bother me but it did <laughs> so <laughs> so i had to put it right side up and um, I did these long ago, I don't know, a few years ago. And so again, I had them already to uh, torn, those two pieces, I had them torn just in my stuff on my desk. So I'm like, well, I'm gonna use them. You know, basically what I look at is the colors on the background. And then, you know, you pick a few things out and you kind of roll with it. So. I have these pencils. So I have this little, you know, coffee cup. And I was looking in particular for the um, the Stabilo All pencils that I have. And that's what this is right here. And I'm gonna show you 
Um, it's not on this page. It's on another page. I'm pretty sure. Oh, and then on every page I do put the um, the date that I did it. And in this case, it, you know, this was all on one day. So uh, that, you know, I, I finished this journal. But this die cut right here is from Rita Barricat. Uh, from when I used to be on her design team. And yeah, so I'm just gonna get some stuff down and yeah. So this was a little bit different, this page. Um, you know, I picked out a verse that had the word love in it on purpose. And you'll see what I go ahead and do with the word love just to do something a little bit different. I was getting glue everywhere, just everywhere, and I was fine with that. I was A-OK -okay with that. So I'm still using the Stabilo All Pencil. It's kind of a mixture, almost of um, a charcoal pencil and maybe like a color pencil. It's almost like a combination of those two. And I have a brown one and a black one but they are water soluble. So you will see me um, on another page activate the that black uh, border. And it just really makes, oh my gosh, it makes the whole, like the black just pops. You'll see it, you'll see. This is the page actually where I do pull out my, my little watercolor brush and I activate. Um, so this background, I did not like at all. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it's supposed to be, but I don't like it. <laughs> so I knew up on top where that butterfly is that that uh, like on, on the page itself is supposed to be a butterfly. That I could tell, but I didn't like it. I didn't like the colors. I just don't like it. And I don't know what the rest of it is. So I'm like, well, I just want to cover up and yeah. I, I mean, I didn't cover everything up, but yeah, I just wanted to cover up some of, you know, that background because I really don't like it. <laughs> so, <laughs> I mean, I don't remember doing any of this um, in her class. I really don't. Uh, thank goodness I mark everything or mostly everything that I work on with a date and where I did it. So if it wasn't done like here in my house, I'll, I'll mark on there, um, you know, where it was done. So here's that pencil. And I'm just going to do a little messy there. And I'm going to go ahead and grab one of my water brushes. And, and look at that. Oh, it just becomes almost like paint and it becomes very dark and it's awesome and then i'm like well that bottom flower wasn't really sticking out so i just grabbed a little bit of the black from up top there you can see just to put a little simple border around that die cut on the bottom um yeah and then you know of course just outline the butterfly as well and oh <laughs> yes and i ended up adding some washi tape on to this page so i have to tell you i went through my washi tapes i don't know last week and i probably got rid of half of them and i probably got rid of i don't know 30 to 40 old washi tapes because they didn't like I couldn't on I couldn't get anything off of the roll but with that um like because I tested all of them so I, I do have some good ones you know washi tapes that I did keep I threw a bunch a bunch away um but anyways I have all these little pieces of washi stuck to my desk that I want to use. I purposely didn't throw out all these little test pieces. Yeah, so I could use them. So here is uh, are all the pages. You can see the border that I did stamp around them. And starting from this page, these are the ones that I did to finish off this particular journal. 
in this video. So one journal down, a few more to go by the end of the summer. I am doing good. The next one I'm going to work in, well, I have two in mind. I have one that is geared around watercolor and doodling, and then the other one is a junk journal that I made. So one of those I'll work on next. So thanks for being here. Bye-bye.